we'll just add a few, we'll add people as they join and then we'll get started. Mike, your countdown always makes me chuckle. Every time. I get right, a little there's... excited. Yeah. Uh, there are two people who are actively joining right now, and once they're in, we'll get started. Oh, then one more. Um, if you haven't already let us know which camp you'd like to join, please do so. Thank you, Hannah. 77 days, it sounds like exactly 11 weeks to go. Yeah, we just said that number yesterday. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, 11 weeks from today. Um, all right, so we're gonna get started. Um, thank you all for joining us on this uh, cold and dreary, doesn't feel like April at all day, but it is what it is. Uh, welcome to New England. Uh, we are excited to be ready uh, to get to talk to you today because we are actively getting ready for camp. Uh, yesterday, uh, Brett, Phil, and I met with the uh, NCAP assessor team, um, and actually Brett and I are now trained NCAP assessors, and we'll be going out to other camps this season as well um, to kind of talk about uh, the overall where we're at with camp and which uh, standards will have to be assessed. Um, and I talked to the GSR assessor yesterday as well, um, and she uh, is lovely, and we will be uh, Drew and I and her name is Cheryl will be meeting and Phil to uh, review those things uh, via Zoom in the next few weeks. So um, we are getting there 11 weeks exactly to Carpenter, uh, which makes it nine weeks till we open GSR for the summer, which is also exciting. Um, I only have two things I'm going to talk about uh, tonight, actually, maybe three. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is med forms. I know that they are high on everyone's list and everybody is worried about them. Um, your, the link to your med form will come on your invoice uh, for the rest of the payment for camp. So Jess is making a face because she's like, maybe I already paid for the rest of camp. Um, you had the opportunity. Some people were uh, received messages uh, to here's how you can pay for the rest of camp. Um, and then because PayPal isn't working or it won't work for a variety of reasons, um, we are shifting to a different option for taking e-checks, hopefully an easier option than uh, PayPal. Um, and so, but that takes time. And so that's why I haven't started invoicing people for the final payment for camp. Um, so that is why that is not done yet. Um, and then the third piece is just to let you all know, the um, some of the names that I'm seeing on the screen right now are names that I see uh, very often in my email address or in my email. Um, I am on vacation this coming week. So uh, I will not be taking my work computer with me to Canada. Um, and I, so I will answer your questions after May 1st. Um, there are no, all the deadlines have passed for early word and things like that. So there shouldn't be any like rush things. Um, and I will, in my away message, uh, there will be um, someone you can reach out to if you do have something that you feel is really um, an emergent question regarding camp um, or any of the other things that I do. So. Uh, those are the quick things that I had. Do we have questions about, I see some stuff in the chat, so I'm going to open that up. Thank you, Jess. Um, and Hannah, we got your message as well. Uh, so do is, are there any questions about med forms? Oh, let me just talk quickly about the med form again. Go ahead, Jess. So you said it's coming with the invoice, but if we're paying for everyone, how does everyone else get the link for the med form? Yep. So the med forms are specific to your week at camp. Okay. And so, so you, you can, can forward, forward it out. Um, and if you paid, if if you sent out the links and everyone else got to follow them and pay for themselves, um, then they'll get their link as well. But they're specific to each week. Um, while we are not required to be HIPAA compliant, but the BSA is not required to be HIPAA compliant, we do want to minimize uh, access to data as much as possible. That is the, the right thing to do. And so that's why we send out individual weeks, uh, with the exception of uh, Granite Base Camp. That's one big pool because there are a lot of people there that uh, attend multiple weeks. Um, yep. Um, so merit badges, we're going to talk, you'll talk about with Drew. Um, and I don't know if Taiwan's on the call or not. Um, and then the other question is, I'm sending my son. 
Oh, those are open, Michael. I can put that in the chat uh, quickly in a minute. Or I can walk you through it before you hop into your breakout room if you'd like. Uh, Michael's question is about provisional. So I- Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And how will individual people receive the MedForm link be sent to people who have already paid their balance or their fees? We'll make sure they get it, John. Um, individuals, um, We'll make sure that everybody gets access to it. Uh, the same, the MedForm link will be the same for every week. So um, you'll be able to forward it to your unit as well. We have a scout attending multiple weeks. We need to fill out multiple MedForms. Yes, unfortunately, unless they're going to multiple weeks of day camp. Uh, Eric, it is not as just as easy as just editing the groups. Um, and so we'll have to talk individually. I did see an email from you on that on Friday. Um, and I had to reach out to get help. And so um, I will get back to you on that one. Den cheap for camp and their training weekend. Training weekend registration, I would expect to be up Monday or Tuesday of this week um, as it was just sent to get put up. Um, and sending your den cheap, den cheap up for camp, um, you can choose, this is a little bit challenging, but you put them in as a youth, just like you normally would. And then on the ticket options page, you actually choose adult, ju that just so that the free den chief um, would work. And then when you put the discount in, um, that will take them off. Um, it, the, Anita, uh, putting someone in as a den chief who is not a den chief is exactly why uh, we're gonna be doing invoicing so that we can review every order and make sure that, because um, I know there are many adults who have paid a camper deposit versus an adult deposit um, many units got all of the, every unit got all of their adults free if they use the discount code and obviously we are going to add add those back into your but uh, your balance and things like that so we will be reviewing every um, order and sending out individual invoices that go along with them um jay uh once we have our once we have invoices that should be easier um, we're working on getting our, uh, sorry, Jay asked if we'll be able to report, get a report or file of those who have registered for reconciliation, um, as opposed to looking it up in individual invitations. So Jay, there's two things to that. Um, if you log into the system and go to the top right hand corner, there's a head and shoulders. If you click on that, you'll be able to see uh, at the top, it'll say orders and then invitation orders. If you click on invitation orders. You'll be able to see who ha uh, which invitations people have responded to and if they've paid or not. Um, but once we are ready to invoice, we'll be able to sh share that information as well. No, John, during the week of May 1st is when we will begin invoicing. It will not happen on May 1st. That is my first day back from vacation. I have to make sure that um, the system is up and running and ready to go. Um, and then we will begin doing what we can. Um, in a med forms, there will be a link for your med forms uh, on the invoices. Um, and the, uh, the med form is, uh, you, you can fill out part A and B individually on the med form. However, you need to get your doctor to sign part C and upload, a, uh, upload the scan of that as well. Um, so please make sure, and then your insurance cards too. So please make sure that you, um, have your part C before you sit down to start your medical form. Um, so Dan is asking a question. He's recently taken over as the camp coordinator. The other person had sent inv invitations. Um, can he get access to group invites which have gone out through your account and when I logged in using this his, his account details, I can't see a cohesive list as who is registered. Is there a report we can see? Um, so Dan, that's the system. That's the what I just told you about. When you go click on uh, log into the system, click on the head and shoulders in the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see who has accepted the invitations and who has paid. Doctor paperwork with the Concord Hospital School. Um, no. Uh, on the BSA requires that we utilize our own form. Um, that is because it has been approved by our attorneys and our medical staff. By what? 
So John, I'm going to start the process on May 1st when I get back, but I, and my goal is to get them out during that first week of May. Um, I cannot promise that they will. This is a new system. The reason they haven't started going out is because when I learned last month that PayPal wasn't going to work for us, um, I had to find a new system and research it and then get it started. Um, it takes time. And so I'm doing the best that I can. I check on it pretty much every day. Tentative deadline for what, uh, Leslie? For when the invoices will go out? Oh, Medforms. Uh, yes, Medforms should, uh, our goal would be to have them come in with final payments. However, if invoices don't go out right away, then I can't ask you to turn them right around that quickly. Um, so that's the plan right now is May 31st. Any other overall general questions? Yeah, you guys don't want to talk to me anyway. You want to talk to the fun people. Uh, potentially, John, you'll have a choice to pay through the base camp system. But if you do, this is where that credit card fee comes in. We talked about this earlier on in the year, uh, that if you chose to pay the balances by credit card, then there will be a fee assessed. Um, as we all know, there's fees to using credit cards. Um, and in order to... Uh, meet our business practices, we had to go to all electronic payments. Thank you, Eric. Um, so we um, had to, um, sorry, I'm, I got distracted by other things popping up in the screen. Um, so if you choose to pay through the Basecamp system, you will be able to do that, but you will actually be assessed a fee. If you choose to use the e-check system that we are working on getting up, up and ready, then there will be no fees uh, assessed. Do I need to collect the medical form? Oh, uh, families it, submit them on their own, Annie. You may, you'll have to forward the link to them depending on how you paid, or you may have to forward the link to them depending on how you paid, but that's where you'll uh, find the link. Uh, John, as I said, we're gonna go through every order and um, the system will tell us who is a, uh, an adventure card holder, and then they'll be able to get the their discount that way. The system already does that for you anyway. No problem, Annie. All right, are there any other questions? Awesome. Um, oh, there are a couple. There's some, I got a jokester in here. I didn't see who it was, it went by really fast. Of course it's Mr. Cotterlick. I didn't even have to really check. I was pretty sure that's who it was. Um, no, Melissa, uh, I mean, Yes, Melissa, the deadline is May 31st. No, the deadline is to make sure that we can collect them after that. If your your physical is in June, then obviously we, we need an up-to-date uh, med form. So we would rather you wait and be a little late, but I don't want everyone to be a little late. Uh, no, Michael, the fees do not apply for gift card purchases. Thank you, John. All right, any other questions? I swear I'm gonna send you to breakout rooms. I keep saying that, but it doesn't work out. All right, so let's get to our breakout rooms. Brett did an excellent job. There is no one waiting for me to assign. So that's good. By the way, uh, if you didn't see, Kristen had her baby. Oh, she announced Brett was, it finally. Yes, um, Brett was gonna talk about it in his breakout. Well, some um, of us don't go to his breakout anymore. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, Michael, if you hang out for a minute, I'll get you the provisional link and I'll walk you through. Uh, all right. I'm going to open those breakout rooms. Jess is doing a happy dance. It's so that Jessica's had a long weekend dance. <laughs> I read that. I saw that. Uh oh, there are a bunch of you unassigned. Is it everyone for GSR? Nope. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Sorry, I'm assigning you quickly. I apologize. Uh, Dan Castaneto, which camp would you like to go to? Carpenter, please. Thanks. 
No problem. Doris, what camp would you like to go to? Carpenter. Doug Pominville. Carpenter. Emily Sayre. DSR, please. No problem. Well, at least we were able to have the breakout room this time. Remember that time that didn't work and we didn't have them at all? Jason Ninos, which camp would you like to attend? Carpenter, please. You bet. Uh, Jay Myers, what, uh, Myers, which camp would you like to attend? GSR, please. Good. Lucy Spencer, which camp would you like to attend? GSR, thank you. Mary Jo Snyder, which camp would you like to attend? Carpenter, please. Bet. Michael Quinn, which camp would you like to attend? Oh, you're waiting for me. Yeah, the, but um, first of all, uh, uh, Hidden Valley. I'll send you Hidden Valley in a minute. All right, I'm going to share my screen so you can see. Give me one second. Let me set up the website. The, let me pull up the website so it's easier to see. Take time. Take time. Oh, actually, I'm going to stop recording too. 